Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo L560 laptop. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can service, clean up the computer if yours is really running hard, you feel like the air is not coming, it's really warming up on the sides, or just the performance is decreasing because of the overheating. And this video is for you. You should be able to do your own servicing once every nine months or 12 months at least, depending how often you use the laptop daily, how dusty is your table based on that. So what I recommend to know your exact service date time, it's to do one service right now and do once in, in nine months. And at nine months, you're gonna open up the laptop, you're gonna see the constant. The thermal paste, if it's dried out or if it's not dried out, how dusty it is, how dusty it is not. Based on that, you know that you can push back your time or if it's too clean, extend the time for the next servicing. So that way you can find your own exact uh, sweet spot for your servicing and laps. All right, by doing servicing, you're not gonna uh, change any configuration in the laptop. So your windows, everything, your files are gonna be intact. It's gonna be the same way. It's really easy. And it takes you up to probably five, 10 minutes to do this service. So first thing first, you wanna power off the laptop. You wanna flip it upside down. You wanna remove the battery, remove those triggers, slide the battery back. I'm gonna go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one is a workshop towel. Do not use any uh, microfiber or anything else to clean up the motherboard or components. Use always workshop towel because once you put an alcohol on the workshop towel, just like that, it becomes really soft. And if you want to clean the capacitors, it will rip apart before you can damage the capacitors. If you use microfiber uh, towels and stuff like that, those strings can get between the capacitors and it can rip or damage the board. So use a workshop towel. That's one good thing about it. 99% or 95% at least isopropylic alcohol or isopropylic alcohol. You need a good thermal paste, I'll use the Arctic MX4. You can go with a different brands. You can go extreme with the Thermal Grizzly. The models are way expensive, but uh, economically and very really good, reliable is an Arctic MX4 or MX5 right now. I'll leave, the, uh, the, I'll leave them in the video description so you can purchase yours. You need a screwdriver set. I recommend you to have one good screwdriver set at home. It's good for everything. This is an iFixit brand. And uh, from this tool set, we're gonna be using a Philips number one. I already have it out. If you get the pro set, they will include you with the tweezers and opening tools. If not, grab yourself a plastic rod or spatula and uh, tweezers, it comes handy for doing servicing. With all this set, we're gonna get ready. Oh, I forgot out. A used or new toothbrush. All right, on the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see this service cover in here it has a little three screws, one, two, three. These screws, they have a little C-lock on the other side that will prevent the screw coming out entirely. So pretty much you just wanna rotate and then you hear a click sound. Once you hear like a few click sounds, you wanna stop right there and do this for all three of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you want my videos helpful, helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we removed these three screws, what you wanna do, you wanna, I don't have fingernails, so stick something under the cover right in here in this portion. You wanna pull this side up, like you're opening a book, bring it up this way, and you can just release these clips in a 45 degree angle. This is the bottom cover, there's a dust mesh right there. You can take it outside, blow some dry air in here. Again, I don't recommend people using a canned air. Those canned air throw humidity and it's not good for electronic. Even if it's uh, said that is for electronic, is not, it throws lots of humidity. I'll leave the link for a good uh, air compressor. It's an air compressor with a dry air, so it will not damage your component and is much more powerful and it's unlimited air pretty much. It's electric but these cans, they cost a lot and you just get rid of it after a few use and pretty much you're wasting, making more waste. All right, so clean up your cover. And down here, we're gonna see the whole system, the fan and the heat sink. Now, first you wanna disconnect the fan system. There's a cables right in here. You wanna gently wiggle around these connectors in here. 
right there. You can see this connector right in here. You want to grab it from the base and you want to work it around. You want to pull it out. Don't yank it suddenly. You're going to damage the cable. Try to grab it as close as you can to the jack and just work it around a tiny bit and pull it out. Okay, there's your fan. Now we're going to remove the four screws on the heatsink. So go ahead and loosen up the screws. Again, the screws have a seal lock on them. So pretty much you just have to twist them. Once it's loosened up, you want to grab it from here, pull it up, and there you have it. Now you can see the thermal paste is, is not actually thermal paste, it's dried out. So we're going to start cleaning it. First, we're going to clean the CPU. We're going to put alcohol on top. Put a clean the top of this one, my finger. And we're going to swipe over the CPU. And we're going to do a few passes round and round. If it gets dirty, don't worry about it. You just flip inside out. It's not conductive. You can just clean it up nicely because using a workshop towel, don't worry about the components around it. The towel will get ripped before you can damage any components. Use a dry part to do a soft pass over the crystal die. I'll use the same towel to clean up the excess of the thermal paste in here, which is really dry. There we go. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put workshop down here. I'm going to service up the fan. We need, you do also need to service up the fan. You're going to switch to a Phillips double zero. You want to remove two screws on the fan on the metal plate. Tiny, tiny screws. Okay. Once you remove those screws, you want to Grab the fan, there's a tiny lock in here. You want to lift up this lock. I don't know, my tweezers are not sharp enough. I'm going to use the topic because it's really thin. Right under the clip. And one clip right in here. So you use a two clip system. Lift it up, bring it up. And has a little temperature sensor cable on the side. Don't worry. Don't yank it up. Leave it there. Now, yours might be really dusty, lift up any dust from here, accumulate it, take it out. And you can clean it up by putting some... In, and you can take it outside and clean up with a toothbrush, hold the fan and just clean it up nicely. And blow some air through here. And we're going to install it. I'm going to go outside, clean it up, and I'll be back. All right, I took it outside and I cleaned it up. Now we're going to put the fan back on. Before I put it on, I'm going to just... Push these clips tiny, tiny bit inward. The one, the two of them, push them a little bit inside. So you want to, they're not flexible, so you want to close them a little bit. So it snaps into the fan nicely. Put the fan connector right there and push it down. And it should snap into the place. There you go. Once it's snapped there, you now you can put the two screws that you removed on the bottom of the fan. And now that because we touched the heat sink and we might have some grease on our hand, you want to dry it up, clean it up with a dry part of the towel and don't touch it. Same thing on the CPU. Now we're going to grab one drop on the main die and one tiny drop on the secondary die. The CPU is the big die crystal, and the second one is a PCH chip, which is now integrated into a single um, chip. This one is for file transfer for data, and this is the CPU right beside it. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to slide the heatsink through the gap right there, and we're going to bring it down. We're going to hold it gently, and we're going to cross the screw them. So cross one corner on the top side, and then cross the opposite side. Screw it down on it. Cross the screw down. It's really simple and easy to do. And then you want to put the push down the fan connector inside the jack. And that's it. And the last thing down here would be to just grab the bottom cover. Bring it. Slide down in 45 degree on the right side. Push down the corner. Make sure you hear those click sounds. And tighten up the screws on the cover. And this is how you do your service for your Lenovo L560 laptop. To finish it up, put the battery on and you're set to go.
And it didn't even take me about nine, 10 minutes. You can do it under less if you do it a few times. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.